we all aspire to go to heaven. That is why we must be good at all times. But the question we should ask ourselves, is heaven a place or a state? That state of grace, when you feel so much at peace with yourself, and not only with yourself, with one another, and then with the creation. When your integral being is at peace, you are having the foretaste of the kingdom. The kingdom of God is here with us. The kingdom of God is present when we are reconciled. The plan of God is that we be like him. When we are like God in what we do, what we say, then we are in heaven. And therefore, heaven is that state of being when there's that serenity, when there's peace, the tranquility of mind and heart. The first reading of the day is St. Paul writing to Philemon about this boy Onesimus. Onesimus was a slave, or rather the servant of Philemon, but he wronged him, and then he was taken to prison. In prison, he met Paul, also a prisoner. But Paul becomes an instrument of reconstruction, an instrument of reconciliation, an instrument of renewal in the life of Onesimus. But then writing to Philemon to accept Onesimus back to him. This means for us the kingdom of God is about how we are reconciled. It doesn't matter how much I've wronged you. We all make our mistakes. Some of them are so terrible. More so as we grow up, even as we live in a family, even in our places of work, even in the church as a community, we make our mistakes because we are human. In our humanity, we falter and fall. And therefore, like Onesimus, if, for example, myself, I wronged you, and then I feel reconciled, somebody intervenes in my life, like St. Paul with Onesimus, the best you can do in your heart is to accept me. Open your heart for me. Open your heart for one another so that when I come to you, consider me as somebody who has been rebuilt, somebody who has been renewed, somebody who has been rejuvenated. But you also on your part, also on my part, like Onesimus, you must be ready to be corrected. The world today, there are people who are living in the hubs. There are people who are also in the prison. They are locked or closed somewhere because of the terrible mistakes they have done in life. In our hearts, my dear brother and my dear sister, let us be like St. Paul. And when somebody who has been maybe a convict, somebody who had been a criminal, you see him around or her around you, don't be so judgmental. The best gift you can give to God is to reconcile with one another. So when Christ says the kingdom of God is in your midst, it means the power in you to forgive. The best gift Christ gave us was the gift on the cross. When you say, when he said, Father, forgive them. The world today needs that one more than before. Reconciliation, reconstruction, renewal. So the kingdom of God is about how well you are able to renew the life of the other person, to become the person that we desire in life. Can we participate together in rebuilding this kingdom? We pray for our brothers and sisters who are out there, not because they want to be what they are. The world has made them what they are today. They have become criminals. Some are, all, are into drugs, some are into alcohol. They can be rehabilitated like, like St. Paul and Onesimus. Pray for their rehabilitation. Pray for our rehabilitation. Pray for our renewal. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.